walking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas tree. Guess what, everybody? Live's Family Cooking Week continues today with a woman who is the very definition of glamour. She's been working here at Live for over two decades. Hey, who hasn't? Please welcome <laughs> audience coordinator Angie Riley. Oh. I am telling you, we were just like, we were... We were sort of like dancing during the commercial break just because we didn't get to go to the club this year for that Christmas party, but so we're just like making it happen here. Now you are making us a treat, a very, very special treat, a sweet corn pudding. This is your grandmother's recipe? The heart and soul of my life. Oh, I mean, the love of my life. Oh. I mean, she was everything. Oh I, I, I oh. dare to say my grandmother was the best grandmother on the planet. I mean, her life's mission was loving us. And she did it in many ways, but we all, she put a stamp on it through her cooking. Well, the apple doesn't so, fall far from well, the tree. That, and by the way, I can see where sweet. the glamour factor Aww. comes from. Glamour yeah. runs deep in your family. Okay, well, so teach you. us how to do this. We want to learn. So this was her traditional uh, corn pudding, which we all love, and mm -hmm. it was sweet. So it was uh, coupled with other things on the table, but I always, uh, gravitated towards it because it was sweet and it was made by my grandmother and mm. at that time I thought she was the only person who made it. So what do we do? We uh, combine two heavy cups of cream. Oh, heavy cream? Yes, we do. And we don't want it to be too hot, right? Like a No, no, no. We're going to simmer it. Then we're going to put in one cup of milk. Yep. Mm. And we're going to put in some sugar. Now, yes, did yes, Delman yes. give you a hard time about adding sugar? Did he say, I would add um, Not at all. I don't think he knows. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so now we're going to stir this together. The whole point of this right now is to melt the sugar. Mm -hmm. And this is something that's crucial because you want your finished product to come out flawless, just like my grandma's. So you grew up living with your grandmother. We lived with our grandparents yeah. as well, which I think is the greatest gift you can An give your kids. An extra dose of love. Yeah. Yes. Um, but you grew up in D.C., which I did not know. Yes. Even though I've known you for 20 years, I did not know that. Yes, a proud Washingtonian. Love, love, love my city. Oh, amazing. And I'm a native Washingtonian. A lot of people claim Washington, and you say, well, where? And they say Maryland. Right. I'm really from. Yeah, from From Northwest Washington. Incredible. Very proud. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so when do we add the eggs? Okay, so now we're going to add the corn. Oh, the corn, okay. The corn comes in next. And this And we can just use any corn, like any Yeah, old... this is fresh corn. You can use fresh corn, canned corn. So you want to stir the, the... What's happening here, you want to blend everything together so you want to keep stirring. Okay. Blend them all together. All these nice flavors are coming together. You just want to be consistent mm -hmm. and keep it blending. There you go. All righty. So now we're going to add our eggs. So we How have, many eggs? We have four large uh, egg yolks and two large eggs. Okay. We're just going to put them in there. Yummy. Just put them in. Join the club eggs. Here we go. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Here comes the eggs. Yeah. <laughs> This is why you're a good audience in. coordinator, because yes. you know how to blend a group of people together the way you blended these eggs, I, right? I try. I stew. try. If it's a good mixture, why not blend them together? And this is a good mix. So we want to make sure that this is blended well. And then we're going to move on. And we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Yes, yummy, yummy, yum. Yeah. Listen to the, you're talking to me almost oh. like you think I might lose my mind. At you certain. might at the end. She's, Maybe. she's using her calm Maybe. voice on me. I'm it's the voice that we all, we all use on Gelman all the time. I, like, I'm doing this fine. with love and thinking about my grandmother. Aww. She gave birth to her first daughter today. Is that so I'm true? I'm very happy that oh. I just uh, put that together. So now I'm going to add some nutmeg. Yes, yes, yes. Keep mm -hmm. stirring. That is the key to okay. keep it moving, keep, keep it, it moving. all together. Yes, yes, yes. Now listen, I know you're excited about this. We're going to take a commercial break, and Anderson is going to join you to oh, figure out how boy. to finish cooking this recipe. Yeah. That's right, Anderson. Riley's grandmother's sweet corn pudding when we return. Stick around. We are back with audience coordinator Angie Riley making her grandmother's sweet corn pudding recipe. All right, so we have it in the pot. What's okay, next? Okay, so Anderson, what we're going to do now, we're going to grab some of our... Ladle it out. 
sweet corn pudding mix. I love sweet corn pudding. With the ladle. Here we go. We're going to put excited. it in the pan right here, mm -hmm. just like so. Right. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so you get the idea. And then why is my pan in a larger pan? Well, I'll tell you in a second something I just discovered. Um, we're going to do a water bath. What is a water bath? You want to put some of your water on the sides of your pan here, on each side, just so gentle, like so. You have to pour it gently? You're going to pour it. Well, you don't want to splash it into oh, your okay, corn okay. pudding. Okay. You don't want to be too aggressive. Oh, you don't want to scare the corn pudding, right? Oh, yeah, yeah so this okay, is, this all right. This is called right. a water bake. And the reason why folks uh, do this is because it bakes, makes your content bake evenly. Oh, interesting. So, I didn't yeah, know that. it keeps your corn pudding or whatever you may be making creamy, custardly like. And then know? how long does it bake for? So, this is going to bake oh, 40... for like 45 minutes nice. to an hour. Okay. So, 45 minutes, and then you'll have some good right. sweet corn pudding. We're going to taste it next. Uh, yeah. Kellyandryan.com for Grandma's sweet corn pudding recipe. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Time to taste the corn, uh, the corn pudding. Mm. This is delicious. You have no right, like I said, to look as good as you look and be able to make wow. this. Wow, you're that a true really <laughs> Thank you. Great. I'm glad you And the recipe's on the website. Our good news story of the day coming up next. We'll be right back. Mm. Mm.